Happy New Year. Welcome to Word on Wednesday for January 5th, 2022. Amanda Gorman wrote a beautiful and inspiring poem that we heard first last year in late January. It begins, when day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never ending shade? The loss we carry, a sea we must wade. Lately, it seems we have been in the shade, even darkness. Our immediate world here in Bowling Green was upended on December 11th with another slap just this past weekend. We're still reeling, trying to make sense of it. The losses have been terrible. The darkness of the days were magnified. Christmas was coming, yet it seemed hard to see the light. Yet Christmas did come. For unto us a child is born, the light that no darkness will ever overcome. And that light has been spreading we have seen it in the helpers who continue to reach out and help those in need in our community. We are the light when we give food to those who come to our door, when someone with cold hands reaches for a bag of gloves on our fence, and when we house our unhoused friends and guests on Thursday nights. The light reminds us, even insists, that our hope is never in vain. Tomorrow is epiphany. Epiphany means manifestation. And that's just a fancy word for aha, or the sudden awareness of, of, of the reality of something. In this case, the reality that this young child Jesus was the anointed one, Emmanuel, God with us, sent to be the light to the Gentiles and the glory of Israel. The Magi from the East were Gentiles and their appearance and worship of Jesus flung open the door for the whole world. And it was because of light, the light of that star, that they followed. And that light is always there, never overcome by darkness, no matter what may happen around us. Ms. Gorman concludes her poem, When day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light, only if we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Be brave, be the light.